Hi, my name is uh, Rich Bira. I am with uh, Fabaro Home Intelligence uh, here in the Z-Wave uh, Network uh, Alliance booth. Uh, we are a manufacturer from Europe. Uh, we are currently in about 52 state uh, countries. Uh, we are just launching in the U.S. Um, some of our products that we are uh, debuting here um, are award-winning uh, Gateway. Uh, we were nominated for one of the finalists for uh, Best New Product. Uh, the Gateway is uh, the brains of our system. Um, so this uh, runs in your house. Uh, it could run up to 240 different devices. Um, the user interface, you have multiple different choices. Um, so here we have our iPad application, um, which you can go through various different uh, rooms. When you go into, say, your kitchen, you can see what the temperature is. You can roll up shades, turn the lights down. Um, you have energy management built in, so you could actually see how much power is being consumed in every single room, every single device. You could set triggers. If something's been using too much power, shuts off, sends you a text message. Um, here we're also showing um, a couple of other of our new devices. Uh, so we have the first of its kind, uh, intelligent Z-Wave uh, smoke detector. This smoke detector um, is, works in the Z-Wave network. It could also be wired into a 12 or 24 volt alarm system. Um, it has auto inclusion built into it and it has a Z-Wave network tester. First of its kind, the Z-Wave net tester will actually test the network that you're in and make sure that you're in with range. Um, you could get auto update on your software. Um, the last really unique feature of this is that it has a data recorder built into it. So if an event happens in a room, whether it be smoke or a fire, it'll actually record the level of heat, how quickly it rose, how fast the smoke came in. It'll sit, take that information, it'll text it to you, it'll put it into the gateway, and it'll also send it to the cloud. It would be very, it's a very useful feature for insurance purposes um, for uh, recording that data in, for investigation to see what had happened in the event. Another device we have is our new um, flood sensor. Um, our flood sensor also uh, has auto inclusion and it also has um, a range tester so you know exactly where you are within your range. Uh, it has an LED readout that shows you that. Uh, internally, you could hook up uh, 12 or 24 volt uh, to an alarm system. You could actually run leads from it to run down to, say, the ground and then mount this in a remote, hard to find place. The device is so small form factor, it's designed to look like a water drop. It, you can't sink it, it will actually float and continue to work. The last feature of it is that it has three telescoping 24 karat, foot, uh, 24 karat feet. This makes sure that it is level and it also reads temperature. So within a single room you could set up a parameter that if the temperature rose too fast, it will send you an alert that the, your boiler room, temperature rose too fast and there's a potential fire there. So you have multiple different um, things that can uh, trigger off of this uh, into your device, getting a text message, flashing your lights, sending you an email, um, shutting the shades, rolling the shades up. So this is the flood sensor. Next, we have four different kind of micro modules that uh, can go in an electrical box. So we have a roller shutter, and we have two different relay switches, and we have a dimmer. So basically what we show here is you can take an, an existing switch, take it out, put this in, this micro module, wire it into your electrical, put this back, and now you have complete control as you normally would, and you also now have it in your Z-Wave network. So you can control it remotely, you can also see what is happening in your user interface, you have different variables that you can set to it, how you want that switch to act, if you want it to dim up 100%, if you want it to dim down. Um, so those are four different micro modules that we also include in our systems. Next, what we have here is a door window sensor. So our door window sensor is a battery operated door window sensor. 
that also has the ability to have a temperature sensor put into it. So in each individual room, you're able to see how the temperature is in that specific room. When you open and close, that can trigger different events. You can get a text message. As you can see, it's flashing the light right there. Um, you could have it send you an email. You could have it roll shades down. So you can make it very robust, or you can make it just do one certain function. Further, what we're showing here is what's called the RGBW module. So our RGBW module actually has the ability to control LED lighting and it has four different channels. So red, green, blue, and white. You can remotely control it. You could actually change the color in your room. In addition, this has the ability to put any analog sensor in it. So uh, humidity, proximity, temperature, light. What we did here was we've attached a proximity sensor to the side. So when the proximity sensor senses my hand, the light changes color. And this is just one variable that we quickly put in. You could have it do various different functions. You could have it roll your shades down, all just off of that one sensor. Various different functions that you have is, you have the ability to go to rooms. You could see the events in every single room. You could turn lights on and off. You could see the temperature. You could see the energy, how much energy is being used. You could roll down, up and down your shades, your garage. You could wire cam any IP camera into the device. You have voice control. You can talk into here and set any commands to do anything you want your house. We have a wall plug coming out. This wall plug is a plug and play. This gets plugged on the outside of your outlet. Power management is a visual experience. And in addition, it's written. And it also goes into our energy efficient um, panel here to show you what's going on. Visually, see the color. If you put a hair dryer in here and you turned it on, it would change to pink, red. So once again, this is the entire Fabaro system that we're bringing into the U.S. We're just launching here in the U.S. Uh, and it'll be coming, uh, coming to stores near you, coming through dealers near you. And we look forward to uh, really, truly expanding uh, the Fabaro brand here in the U.S.